So this video is still on the chapter of vectors and vector spaces, but now we change to the to the to another item. We are working on hyperplanes and lines in R n. So a hyperplane H in R n, and th in this video we are going to introduce this concept of hyperplane, a very important concept, also in analysis. A a hyperplane H in Rn, in a space Rn, is the set of points x1, x2, xn. So this the point will have the same coordinates, n coordinates as the space, that satisfy a linear equation. A1, x1, A2, x2, An, xn equals b. Okay where we can say this uh, a1, a2 are uh, scalar values. And if you pick a vector a1 with coordinates a1, a2, an, this vector will be normal to the plane. Okay, so this this is this here are the components of the normal vector to the plane. So if you have a vector here, let's call this. Uh, sorry, if you have a plane here, let's call it better or something like that. Okay, and if the equation of your plane is, let us say, x plus y plus z equals 2. This vector, the normal vector to the plane, this vector here, will be vector so 1, 1, 1, right? a1, a2, an. So this will be vector 1, 1, 1. So this vector will be normal to the plane beta. Okay? If you have if the, the equation of plane is 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals 5, the, the vector, the normal vector for to this plane will be 2, 3, 4. Okay? Well, why is this a normal? Because any two points that you pick here in the plane, and if you take a vector, between these two points, this vector here will be orthogonal to this to any vector in the plane. Okay, let us say we have a plane here. Okay, so this is the hyperplane, right? Just check the, the beginning of the video. And let us say we have these points P and Q. So this point, this is point P, this is point Q. Um, and of course, and O, that is going to be the origin here for us in the hyperplane. Okay? So we can take. Um, OP, right, and let us call OP U, for instance, and we can take another vector here, vector OQ, okay, let's call it something else like W, okay, so OP is taking us from here to here, OQ is taking us from here to here, Right, and we can do now. Um, so OQ is W, and OP is U. Okay, so let us do W minus U. Okay, W minus U. Let's call this vector V. So W minus U. Um, That will be this vector, right? So this will be vector v, 
right because it is W minus U. Okay, so at the end of the day, what we have here is BQ, right? We have vector PQ here. Okay. Okay, but the hyperplane um, will satisfy a given linear equation. Okay, and do not forget that we saw that the vector with components a1, a2, an is the normal vector to the hyperplane. Okay? Okay. So, one, if I take this a1, a2, an, this normal vector, and I do it the direct product with u, vector u, I have to get B, right? And if I do the same, uh, if I get the normal vector, so A1, A2, An, direct product with this other vector, vector W, I have to get B to right? Okay. But let me take this one here out. Okay, so n times, so n times, times where times is direct product, right? Uh, n times u equals b, n times w equals b, two. Okay. Um, okay, so now the question is, what will n times v, this vector here, will be? n times v. What is n times v? So the normal times v will be um, the normal times u minus right u min uh, w minus u w minus u right. Okay, but that is normal times w minus normal times u, right? Okay, but the normal times w, this is 0 and this is 0, so we get 0 minus 0 equals 0. So our conclusion is um, any, so this was pq, right? If we pick the normal and we do the direct product with PQ, any vector in the hyperplane, where points P and Q are in the hyperplane, okay, N, you will always get zero. So N will always be uh, orthogonal. N will always be orthogonal to any vector in the hyperplane.